Hey guys, it's Everything Cards, and today I am going to be doing something a bit different. As you can see, I have a 2x2x2 two by two by two Rubik's Cube, and I'm going to show you how to solve it. Before I begin, please click on this link. It takes you to a video of me and my friend uh, having a war with these so you can solve it faster. Uh, Magic Hands of Asaf is the channel name. He's going to be starting uploading more videos soon, and you should go check him out, subscribe, and like his stuff. Okay? Uh, now, when solving this 2x2x2, two by two by two, there are going to be some algorithms that you're going to me need to memorize. I'm going to put them in the description box, but you also just need to keep watching the video over and over until you completely understand and know the algorithms by heart. Sounds difficult, but you'll be able to get it in about a half hour. After about a half hour, I was able to solve this pretty much by myself. Okay? So... Let's begin. Uh, you're, the first step, well actually, I'll, I'll just solve it one time to show you what it looks like when you know how to solve it. So, I'll just solve it one time for you guys here. Okay, so that's what it looks like when you know how to solve it. Um, depending on what kind of mix you get, how the Rubik's Cube is mixed, it should take you anywhere from 10 to 60 seconds when you know it. You can get a really good mix, and my friend Magic Hands of Asaf solved it in 9 seconds when we were off camera. That was one of the best mixes, uh, luckier mixes I've seen. Um, but usually it'll take you around 30 seconds if you know how to do it and you get an okay mix. Okay, I'll just mix it up a bit more. And now we are ready to begin. Step one, get one face. To learn, I'm just going to show you to get the white face. It makes things easier to learn. And uh, I, I think it's easier to solve it with the white face, especially once you're used to it. Okay, so you can see I have one white here, 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 and here. None of them are... Um, none of them are together. So I want to get, it's easy to get three whites together, but usually people struggle with the fourth. You can see, see here I'm set up just to twist once and I have two. You don't want to set up yourself with a white here and a white here. That's going to make it impossible to get the third and the fourth. You're going to set yourself up together, not diagonal. Okay, so now I have two here. And for demonstration purposes, I'll mix it up more because I would have yeah, that would have been too easy of a solve. So here and the other whites here, so I can just tw twist it like this. You should be able to get three by yourself, even without knowing anything about a Rubik's cube. For the fourth one, you want to position the white, uh, the last white, uh, here or here, L below the uh, color on this side or this side, it doesn't matter. But you can see I have a, a worse scenario there. I have it here. And I want to get it anywhere but here. So I'm going to twist this side once to get it here. Then I'm not disrupting this at all. I just twist this twice and then twist this again. So now I can twist this to set it up so it's here. If the white face was here or here, you're also in a bad position, but you just did what I uh, do what I just did. Twist it once down, twist it twice, and then twist it back up. So uh, I'll just reverse what I just did. Okay, so now you can see it's set up here. All I have to do is twist this down, twist it together, and I have the full white. Okay? You always go with the color, so I'll show you what I mean. I'll mix it up. Um, get three. So then the white is here. I'm going to go with the color this way, twist it like this, twist the bottom so then I can line these two up, and then twist it here, which makes it really easy to get the fourth one. From here, you're going to have three possible scenarios, I guess. 
you're either going to have one pair, you're going to have no pairs, or you're going to have all pairs. Best case scenario, all pairs. Um, and it doesn't really matter if you have no pairs or one pair. It'll be about the same time. You can see I have one pair here. I want to get all of these uh, lined up. It's the same as the 3x3, three three, same step two. All I have to do to do that is switch these two blocks. Okay? So to start off, I want to get this one out. Just twist it down and twist it over, and it's out. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Next, I'll also take this one out, but I'll twist the bottom the other way so I can line up that one with that one, twist it back up. So now I've moved this one over here, and all you have to do is repeat what you learned in step one to get four, go with the color, twist, line up, and go up. See, now I have all the pairs. If you add all the pairs to begin with, you're already done with step two. Now on to step three, which involves the dreaded algorithm. This isn't the worst algorithm, actually. This one will be really easy once you learn it. And there is somewhat of a pattern. So this side, if you're going for white, if you have white done here, you're going to flip it over. And for this side, you're going to get yellow if you're doing the white side. So you can see I have one yellow here. If I have one yellow, I'm going to position it in the bottom left corner, like it is here. Then I will do the algorithm. So when I t tell you that uh, it's right inverted, it means I'm twisting it down. When it's just right, it means I'm twisting it up. Okay? This starts off with the right turn. Okay? Uh, twist the top clockwise. Right inverted. Twist it again clockwise. Twist it right. Do two turns. Twist it down. Okay? You can see I got lucky on this one. Uh, it already set me up with a full yellow. Let's say I don't have these two, it set me up with two yellows. I'm going to position them on the right and just repeat that algorithm, which is right. Uh, I'll just do it uh, for demonstration. Um, yeah, so right, one turn clockwise on the top, down, one turn clockwise on the top, up, two, down. And one tip for this, you want to hold the cube by the bottom left corners. This way you don't flip the orientation of the cube, which will mess up the entire thing. Okay, so you can see I have one yellow. I'll move it to the bottom left. And it's okay to twist this top, it doesn't disrupt the white or the pairs. Put it on the bottom left, and do the algorithm. Right, clockwise, right inverted, clockwise, right, clockwise twice, down. You can see I have one yellow, move it to the bottom left, right, clockwise, right inverted, clockwise, right, clockwise, twice, down. You can see now I'm set up completely with all the yellows. Okay, next you're going to check for pairs on this side, and you can see I have one pair. Again, you're going to have uh, three scenarios, no pairs, one pair, or all pairs. If you have all pairs, you just twist it uh, the number of times, and you'll be done with the cube. In this case, I have one pair, so I line it up with the other green, then do the worst algorithm there is. This one, you'll need to write down and just read off for a while. Then you can work on memorizing it. But you're going to have the green facing away from you. I forgot to say this, but always have the, face, the pair facing away from you. Uh, yeah. Uh, so have it facing way. This is the algorithm. Right inverted, face, clockwise. Right inverted again. Back, back. The other way right, the other way face. So right, face, counterclockwise. Right, back, back. Right, right, back, back. Then twist the top. And you can see I'm completely solved. Okay, you're going to need to memorize that uh, both those algorithms. But let's say that you don't have any pairs. So when you get to... Here, let me just... Uh, uh, hold on. Okay, so... Get the yellow... And let's say I have one pair sit here, but let's say I don't have any pairs. 
okay? You're, you're gonna have to do the algorithm twice. So, uh, if I didn't have any pairs, I'd have corners. So I'd have correct here, correct here, incorrect here, incorrect here, correct here, correct here. Okay, so you're gonna put the correct one on your left, do the algorithm, and then line up, you'll get, you'll then have one pair, line it up, let's say I just did the algorithm and I get the red pair, put it facing away from me with the other red, do the algorithm again. Right, inverted, face, clockwise, right, inverted, back, back, right, counterclockwise, right, back, back, right, right, back, back, turn. And there it is. Okay, there's one more possible scenario for this. Um, and that is once you get the white uh, completely done. Let me do that here one second. When you get the white completely done, uh, I do have a pair, but there is a scenario where you don't have any pairs. Okay? And if that happens, just think like you're splitting an apple. Twist this split in half twice, 180 degrees, so now this is on the bottom, this is on the top. Then split this again 180 degrees, so then it's in basically like fourths, like you're cutting an apple in fourths. And what that will do is it will move, so then you have two whites. All you have to do is re- like uncut the apple. <laughs> and uh, you'll have the white, and in this case I did have a pair, so I'm just left with another one, but if you didn't have any pairs, all these corners would be filled after doing that. Uh, then you can move on to the yellow. You have two, so you put it on the right, do the algorithm, forward, twist, back, twist, forward, twist, twist, back. I have none, doesn't matter how you orient it. Forward, twist, back, twist, forward, twist, twist, back, I have two, put them on the right, forward, twist, back, twist, forward, twist, twist, back. Put on the left, forward, twist, back, twist, forward, twist, twist, back. Have one, put on the bottom left, forward, twist, back, twist, forward, twist, twist, back. And eventually, you will get the yellow, like you see there. Uh, and you can see this time I have uh, one pair. Oh, oops, I completely messed this up. Uh... Okay, there we go. Uh, you can see... Oh man, hold on. Okay. There we go, sorry about that. So you can see I have one pair, line it up like this, do the dreaded algorithm. Down, clockwise, right, inverted, or down. Back, back, forward, counterclockwise, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back, twist. That's it, guys. Uh, this will take a lot of practice, and there are scenarios but I think I have covered them all. So yeah, have fun with it. It is addicting and it is healthy. <laughs> Makes you think. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.